Good day everyone, uh, my name is Li Yang. So today I will be uh, introducing everyone with different kinds of microscope, uh, to be specific, stereo microscope. So first of all, let's look at this microscope. This first microscope is what we call a binocular, tri um, binocular microscope. So when we look at a microscope, we have to understand about the different parts and how we use it and the function. So let's look at this part first. This part is what we call a post stand. Okay, post stand. So the first part is the post stand and then next this part, this part is what we call a focusing knob. So the focusing knob is very important because every microscope has its own working distance. Working distance means from the objective lens until the, our specimen. Okay? So the distance, uh, for example, if a microscope's working distance is 100 mm, means that the objective lens until our specimen have to be exact 100 mm so that the image can be focused. Uh, so the image can be clear uh, so this is very important so next we look at this part this part is what we call a magnification changer so of course when we turn it we can turn it from a one from one magnification to 1.5 to 2 and 3 and so on okay so this is a magnification changer so then next we look at this body so this body is where the microscope body is have the objective lens Okay, so this top part here is the eyepiece. Okay, so the eyepiece. Look, the eyepiece. This is the eyepiece. Okay, this is the eyepiece. Okay, this is the eyepiece. So this eyepiece, we can install it here, and then here, eh, we can turn. We can turn here is adjust the diopter, the diopter of the eyepiece. So the importance of us to be able to adjust is to suit the vision of our both eyes, because the difference. Uh, because our eyes have a different power a little bit so it can maybe it can affect a little bit uh, of the image maybe a little bit blur so we can adjust it to be more the image can be more sharp uh, so other than this part we can adjust of course look at this part this part we can adjust too this part we can adjust too this is we can adjust so that the, you can see here the interpupillary distance here we can adjust uh, so an average interpupillary distance of an adult is about 63 mm. Uh, so here we can adjust. This microscope has a setting of have the interpupillary distance of 55 to 75 mm. So of course we can adjust to suit ourselves. Uh, so when we come to a microscope, of course we have to have light, right? So the lighting here I have put it out here. So actually we have two we have two kind of uh, lighting. So the first one is this conventional uh, fluorescent light ah, so this is the conventional fluorescent light ah, so next this one this one is called the LED light ah, the LED light so this is a more uh, modern one of course so using the LED light has two advantage okay have two advantage first is we can adjust the intensity look we can adjust the intensity from lower power to higher power law. so we can adjust the intensity of the light ah, so other than having the changes of the intensity of the light we can also save more energy by using the LED light. Ah. So this is about the lighting. Okay, now next here. Here, this is the second microscope. Okay, this is the second microscope. It's what we call a trinocular microscope. Okay, so a trinocular microscope, other than having the uh, binocular, this eye tube here, we also have an additional camera port. Ah. So of course here, have same law, we have the eyepiece. Uh, and then here we have the magnification changer focusing knob uh, so hey, here this thing is different this thing is different this is what we call a track stand okay this is a different kind of stand this is called track stand uh, so we look at here the lighting so this lighting also a little bit different okay so let's first we look here this is the LED lighting no? this is the LED lighting so we can adjust the intensity of the LED lighting and then at the side here see we can change the intensity of this LED lighting okay so other than this uh, top light we have this bottom part of the light which is the tr LED transmitted light so here of course we can change the intensity of the light as well so having a transmitted light the advantage is uh, it is good for the biologic uh, for observing transparent and semi-transparent specimen okay such as the biological stuff like cell and tissue uh, so next we move on to this microscope so this microscope is a uh, called a digital microscope ah so this is more a uh, more common equipment nowadays lah. okay this is more more common equipment nowadays so other than having the microscope body like this one we only this only have a zoom tube uh, 
uh, this is also still of course all the objective lens is inside law. so of course I won't explain again the focusing law to understand and so on so this is the important part is we have to explain about I have to explain about the camera ah, so here we look we have a camera attached to the zoom tube and of course the camera is attached to a monitor so we can see the image from the monitor so the our specimen the image is directly uh, captured by the camera and then transmitted into the monitor so having a camera uh, has a few advantage so first is we can have we can have an image at a big screen here so for example during a class the lecturer can uh, show everybody in the class directly in a big screen like from a certain a certain part of the specimen can show to the, the whole class easily uh, so other than that we of course we can save the image directly into our pen drive into directly the image into the pen drive using this usb part lock usb uh, so of course having a camera we also can program it to measure to measure the distance between the between the specimen uh, from this part to this part how much the distance it is uh, we can directly having the measurement directly have the measurement uh, so this is a few advantage of having a camera uh, so of course the camera the camera and the screen we can we can take it and install it at the trinocular microscope the top part here uh, we can directly install the camera at the top of the trinocular microscope and link it with a monitor uh, so this is the advantage of having a monitor and a camera uh, so okay so this is uh, the general introduction of a few stereo microscope uh, so thank you everybody okay this is the few microscope thank you everybody